Hi, I'm Patrick Lamber and I'm a proud member of the European SharePoint community. In this video you will learn how to get started with Yammer Embed. Yammer Embed is a set of widgets that you can use in your web applications. These widgets allow you to read data from Yammer or post data back to Yammer. Short intro about myself. My name is Patrick Lamber and I'm located in Italy. I'm focusing on SharePoint architecture and development since a couple of years and I'm a SharePoint MVP since 2013. If you want to get in touch with me, just use the contact details on the right corner. So today we will see first of all what are the necessary steps to get started with Yammer integration. Then we will jump over to embed and show you the different activities you have to follow to do integration with embed. And last but not least, I will show you a demo on how to follow the different steps that we discussed in the presentation. First of all, we have to understand that Yammer integration has always to follow three major steps. So we have to register an app. First of all, you will get an ID. This ID can then be used for one of the two authentication mechanisms one is the client-side flow over the browser or the server-side flow if you want to authenticate through server-side code. Last but not least, you have different uh, uh, integration techniques uh, that allow you to access and post data. Um, basically, we have embed, we have the REST API and real-time. Today, we will focus on embed. So what is Embed exactly? As already said before, Embed is a set of widgets that you can integrate in your web application. The integration happens through JavaScript and you can integrate different parts of Yammer in your application. You have feeds, you have action buttons, you have commenting functionality, and you can also integrate to Embed with some events. So let's focus first of all on the feeds. For example, if you want to show the group feeds of a specific group in your web application, you can do this by using some simple JavaScript code. Similar thing if you want to like or follow in Yammer your pages on a homepage or on your web application, you can use this like and follow buttons. Commenting functionality is similar if you want to provide commenting features on your specific page. So your users can integrate and comment on this specific page, not only on your web application, but also through Yammer. So here a short example of how to integrate a group feed, for example. On the left hand side, we see the code that is necessary to display a feed on the right hand side. Basically, we have a JavaScript code that we will focus more on, um, on the demo part. But as you can see here, we have some code that allows us to specify a container, a network, some configuration files. And on the right hand side, you have the results, which is the group feed. The interesting part is that the look and feel is specified uh, directly from Yammer. You don't have to add your CSS codes there. Uh, the way uh, the group feed is uh, created is also specified directly by Yammer. And also, if you want to inter interact with this group feed, you can just do it. You just need to integrate it to your application by using the JavaScript code on the left hand side. In a similar way, you can also add like or follow buttons. You see the JavaScript code on the left hand side or commenting features. Commenting on the lower left corner, this is just JavaScript code that you have to specify so that Yammer is able to render your comment functionality with embed, as you can see on the right hand corner. When you integrate with, uh, with the page, you see that on Yammer, you will get an object and the possibility to do some commenting functionality. So both worlds are integrated. People can start commenting on Yammer, but also on your application. I think the easiest way to get started with the whole process is by showing you a short demo 
and I will follow the different steps that are necessary to get started. That means registering an app, accessing and authenticating, and then doing some basic integration with Embed. I created for this demo a network. This is a free network called lumber.u and I created it under www.yammer.com. After I created it, I also created some fake users to interact a little bit with each other. And you need to have a network if you want to have some integration, this is clear. So after you got your network, um, we have to register our app. We go here under www.yammer.com slash client underscore applications. Hit enter. And what you can do here is to register the applications that you are going to use um, when you're doing development work. And you can do here a new registration by simply clicking register new app. You need to have a unique name under application name, specify the residual info and you're ready to go. After you created the app, I just click here on the details and you see that you get here a client ID. This client ID is necessary to do the integrations uh, in our JavaScript code. Furthermore, what you have to specify here is the expected redirect URL, where basically you're stating that after uh, there was a successful authentication, the user is redirected back to this specific page. And I specified here the local host with a port because when we will start Visual Studio, this, this address will be used. You can specify this re redirect URL under basic info. If you scroll down, redirect URL and you're done. So with this configuration in place, we can jump to Visual Studio what I did here, this was the creation of a simple ASP.NET application with just one page. In this page, I will show you how to add a like button, how to add a follow button, and also how to integrate a group. Afterwards, we will see what you have to consider when doing this. First of all, we have always to specify and integrate here the yam.js um, JavaScript uh, library. This is necessary to do all our embed work. Afterwards, the first activity you have to follow is to register your app and the app you register is registered with the app ID you got when you created the new application before. As you can see here, I have some embed JavaScripts that we will look at later on. And let's see here the, uh, the HTML code. Basically, I have here three divs. I have a div with the ID follow me, where the follow me button will be rendered by the embed framework. I have here my like ID in a div where the like button will be rendered. And in a similar way, I have here the flower power group ID in a div where a specific group of my uh, of my network will be rendered. The group that we're going to render is this one. So under yammer.com I created here the group flower power and the contents that are rendered here will be rendered on our page. So let's go back to Visual Studio and see what are what is the code that we need to call if we want to do this embedding. As you can see here, for example, the em embedding of code of, of the feed, it's basically yam.connect embed feed. You have to specify the container, in our case, the diff. You have to specify the network. In my case, the network is called lumber.u. You get the network name simply by looking at the URL of Yammer. And you see here www.yammer.com slash and the network name, in my case, lumber.eu. After you have this lumber.eu, you can specify the feed type. In our case, we are integrating a group. And we also have to specify the ID of the group. 
and you can find this ID also here in the URL basically we see here at the beginning lumber.u this is the network name we have some additional uh, information here and the feed ID in my case it's 33133365 and this has to be specified here after I did it you will see uh, this specific group will be rendered under flower power group so if we are jumping to the action buttons it's also pretty straightforward here the like we have to specify the container first, the network afterwards, and the action in a similar way also with the follow button. And in the diffs that we specified below, these buttons will be rendered. When we start and debug the application, the application will be opened. And depending if I'm already logged in or not, I'm getting here the information rendered. I'm already logged in. If this is not the case, a login button will display. Just click on login and enter your username and password and accept that the application is accessing Yammer. After you did it, you should see something similar. As you can see here, we have the ASP.NET application displaying the uh, two buttons, the follow and the like button. And also here, the, uh, the feed of the group and we can see here the posts of the groups and if I'm interacting for example like clicking here on like and answering below from embed you will see when we're opening Yammer and we are refreshing the page in our group we should see also the results here my answer and also here the like so as you can see pretty straightforward if you want to do some other integrations you just need to check out the www.yammer.com developer section and also my presentation to see some other examples on how to integrate embed